Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon waterfall tank, although we do not have the waterfall flowing at the moment. But today we're going to get in there and do a simple bit of maintenance. We're going to do a water change, get the filter cleaned out. I'm going to vac some of the mulm out of the back of it. And we are going to install a power head. Of course, I'll get the glass wiped down and all the basic stuff too. So this is ultimately going to be a simple before and after video. But before we get to the actual before and after part, we're going to test out the feature on my camera that allows me to focus on the product I'm showing you rather than my face. So this is the little pump that we're going to be using. It's not very big at all. You can see it gets mounted to the side of the glass with these little suction cups here. And then the outlet is right there. And that's it. I'm going to mount it to the side of the glass. Of course, the cord will be up and it will be mounted simply like that in the corner. It'll be very indiscreet. And it also comes with a little bag of additional nozzles. You got spare suction cups and you also have different sizes of nozzles you can put on there which will allow you to put different size hoses and will also give you a different force of jet. If you use the wide nozzle versus the narrow nozzle you're going to get much more uh, high volume of water certain out of there, high stream of water and of course it also comes with a little brush as well. So there you go, that's a look at the actual thing we're putting in the tank. Again, a little teeny tiny power head. This only moves 80 gallons per hour. It's not very much, but it will be a nice little emergency backup secondary source of circulation in the tank. So let's get started and we'll have a look at the before and after. Here's your before. And there's your after. So I did a pretty big water change, probably 60 or 70 percent. I really took the level down. I got the glass all wiped down on the inside and the outside. The outside actually gets more crud on it than the inside from this little uh, foot tank I have down here. All the little splooshes and splashes that come out of there actually leave a bunch of deposits all over the glass. And it really does build up and that's where a lot of that uh, visibility comes from or the lack of visibility I should say. I saw my uh, clown pleco while I was in there. I drained the water down so much everybody was freaking out and hiding all over the place and that clown pleco was out and about swimming around and so I know it's in there alive and well and in fact you can actually look at the wood and you can see how cleanly scraped and well manicured that wood is and that gives you an idea that it's being scraped by that pleco and you can see right up to the water's edge and then it stops and becomes you know kind of cruddy I would imagine if I left that in there long enough it would just get scraped down to little twig like pieces of wood uh, the other thing to note is my Java Windelov this big mass right here on the corner really started breaking up and big chunks of it were coming out and I wound up actually collecting that much of it so this is going to go over in my grow out bucket. I've already got Java Windelove over there. I've got Java, regular old Java fern. And probably a little bit of water sprite. I've always got some water sprite hanging around. So if you're interested in any plants, aquatic plants, you can check out my email down below. I've got lots and lots of the Java Windelove available now. Otherwise, not much to talk about. We will have a look around the back here in the nether regions where it's not so attractive and in doing so we can see where I place that little power head so it really moved a bunch of crap you can actually see that little thing that's stuck on the piece of wood there is giving you a good idea how much flow we're getting across the back of this tank you can see some of the schooling fish are sitting there with the current facing them now they seem to be enjoying it. My angelfish that's hiding over there in the corner, moving out on cue. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that one. When I first put the power head in the tank, I had it about halfway up the side. 
and it was really causing, I had it about right here, and it was really causing a lot of water flow, like even the uh, Java window lava that you can see right there was all swaying and swirling in the breeze. And so I moved it way down towards the bottom, and you wound up getting all of the detritus and everything that was still left over from after I vacked it out of there. I did a good job vacking it out, but there was still a bunch left in there. And all that swirled up and kicked around, and so it's redepositing. It's finding new spots to settle down, but a lot of it also got picked up by my little hang on the back filter over there. And so ultimately, I think not only is this little power head going to give me a uh, good circulation around the tank, a good secondary source of water movement, it's going to allow me to keep that mulm and detritus and everything from collecting back here in the back so much. So let's come back around and just on a larger scale looking at the whole tank I've got some water in this basin up here I put water in this basin down here and it seemed to hold it just fine I didn't get any leaks or anything like that and of course the weather's cooling down and we're starting to bring in some of our outdoor plants you can see I've got my Rex begonia right there that is actually the hygrophila or whatever it's called, the temple plant. That's that huge plant that I used to have growing in my office tank. And I've got it in a plant now, or in a planter, and we're gonna see, that's just temporarily sitting there. Obviously, once the waterfall is flowing again, that's not gonna be able to stay there. Uh, and then I got another one, that's another little temple plant that I made a cutting of and just stuck in a planter to see if it would root in, and it sure enough did. So for today, we're gonna go ahead and call that good. We don't really need that huge grow light that's a big LED grow light that shines on this whole entire area and it really does light this tank up nicely but it's unnecessary for the full 12 hour duration of the day so there you go we're gonna call that good I'm gonna say thanks for watching don't forget I've got new merch out there I got t-shirts and sweatshirts and all that stuff that say here's your before on the front and then they say here's your after on the back you can check those out in the link down below uh, don't forget I have memberships available now and I also will be doing live streams every Friday and Sunday. Friday night will be an open uh, discussion and Sunday night will be a topic discussion. I do not know what this week's topic is going to be and I don't know when you're actually going to be watching this video. So check out Sunday night and Friday night. Make sure you're subscribed. Ring that bell so you don't miss any of the notifications and I will see you real soon on the next one. Thanks for watching.